Okay, here it is. This is Full Self Drive Beta version 9. Uh, I'm in some difficult conditions with the uh, rain here. I mean, just look at this road. It's almost impossible to uh, really see what's going on. <laughs> we just did a phenomenal uh, change over in this turn only lane. Uh, but yeah, we're doing a great job, absolutely amazing job picking up these uh, lane lines, even with all the shine on the road. But here's the new visuals. So we can see traffic going past us and behind us. We have a protected green arrow. And we do a very nice left turn. I see another Model 3 out. Uh, I wonder if it's another local beta tester that I've never met. That's funny. That's interesting. Uh, I don't think we want to be in this turn lane car. We don't. That was weird, but uh, safe. Okay, that's funny. See another Model 3 out at this hour. It's three. It's 3.13 in the morning here, central time. Uh, <laughs> um, I, should, I should go chase him down. It's got to be another beta tester, right? Why else? Would, well, I guess people can do what they want, but that's suspicious. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so far this is really cool. Um, visualizations are awesome. It looks, uh, it's the same idea as what we had before with the dots, but everything's just kind of connected together and a little bit more blurry. I think it's kind of showing the probability of, of where stuff is in space, I guess. Um, yeah, it's raining, so the conditions aren't great, but so far everything's been, uh, it, it seems more refined than what we had with 8.2. Uh, it's too early to really judge major changes. I'm not used to driving at night in the rain. So it's not a direct comparison to what I'm used to, but considering the conditions, uh, I'm impressed. Um, I'll wait until tomorrow. It's supposed to rain kind of all day, um, but hopefully the rain lets up at some point so I can test some daytime, hopefully dry driving, uh, to see how it performs there when I'm a little bit more familiar. So we do have a few uh, maneuvers here to go through, including a few places where 8.2 historically would fail. So there's some areas up here where I have logged um, several hundred disengagements with version 8.2. Um, so I would kind of hope that those disengagements actually were worth something and those problems have been fixed, but we'll find out. Um, so yeah, this is part of this route I've done many hundreds of times. So we'll see how it does up there. We have an intersection coming up here in just a little bit. We'll see how it depicts the intersection on here. Um, from what I've seen so far, it looks really cool. We do have some debris on the road from the storm. A little bit of speed changes there. Kind of a puddle. And, you know, I think uh, this is a good change. So something I just noticed, and the reason I just noticed it is because it's subtle. When the speed limit changes, it's not jerky. Like the old version, it would be like, it would really get on the accelerator or really get off of it, but this is a lot more gradual. I barely even noticed the speed limit changed um, because it's uh, it's not so jerky. So here's our first turn. Very good. Okay, I like that. Yeah, the speed limit changes are definitely, uh, I think, an improvement. That one's just the same speed limit there. But normally it's it's like really jerky on the speed changes, so I think uh, that's an improvement for sure from a, comf uh, a comfortability, is that a word, standpoint. Uh, and I wrote emails to the beta team months ago, basically telling them like this is this is old versions, but uh, basically the car drives in a manner that is uncomfortable for passengers. As the driver, you kind of get used to it and you're okay because you're sort of in control, but for passengers, the old versions used to be very jerky. Uh, it was very uncomfortable. So I provided feedback, basically telling them it should behave like a chauffeur, essentially. Okay, there's a 40 speed limit sign. Very gradual. There's no kick in the pants. I like, okay, that's great. I like that a lot. So just from a usability standpoint and a, a driver comfort standpoint, that's a huge improvement. Okay, so left turn here very nice and smooth into the turn lane. Okay, this is interesting. We don't have an arrow. 
Okay, that was not perfect, but uh, so no arrow, but and we had no oncoming traffic, but it did a, uh, a pretty good job of keeping going through the turn. Uh, kind of a weird pathing through the turn there, but it was still fine ultimately. And that's one challenge I think of the debris here. I think so I took over for that road debris snapshot. So one issue is that uh, that was a weird turn back there, but ultimately it was safe. Um, still though, it's not quite the appropriate path to take through that turn. Okay, we have another about five minutes to go on this particular drive here. Uh, there's a couple known failure points up here from version 8.2. We'll see how it does. are very difficult to see as a human with all the sheen and shine on the road so that's a very good job of taking the correct path through there like, I mean it's just it's super hard to see so the fact that the camera system can see that is super incredible okay we have a red light okay the slowdown is great so much better so much better um, that's a very natural stop that feels just like I, would, I, if I were driving by myself. And then likewise, very good acceleration. Okay, so coming up into this intersection here, I have consistently had errors where it wants to get into this left turn lane. We're going straight through, but it consistently wants to go to this left turn. It might do it again. Let's find out. It didn't, outstanding. Now, I wouldn't personally choose this lane because the right lane ends. That's not good. The right lane ends, uh, so really you want to be in the left straight through lane. Yeah, lane ends, merge left. Nothing wrong with it, it's just easier to be in the left one since it stays there. That is some form of debris. Yeah, there's almost no traffic out here, so it's kind of, um, I can't test the, the Tesla Vision uh, following distance, TACC, that type of thing. Yep, so we're kind of getting towards the end of the drive here. Overall, uh, I'm very impressed, especially considering the conditions that we're in, nighttime with rain, all that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to testing this out in the daytime in conditions I'm more familiar with <coughs> to see how it performs there. Okay, some more known failures up here. We want to take a right turn, but historically it's just all screwed up here. Um, 8.2. So we kind of need to keep to the right. Okay, yeah, we're going right, so this is, yeah, that's, I'm just going to disengage. I think that probably provides a pretty good uh, trigger to them, and then a snapshot, so that's a little bit disappointing there. <coughs> I'm manually driving now, my voice is giving out. Anyway, so uh, we'll call that conclusion there. Um, definitely some improvements, a lot of improvements in the smoothness of the driving. Um, still some issues with navigation database issues that then feed bad data into the system. That was great. It didn't pick. It didn't bite off on that uh, sign. Okay, here's a person on a bike, so we'll be careful. And it does see them. I couldn't quite tell how far out how far out it depicted them. So anyway, still some nav uh, navigation database issues, which I think lead to other errors. I kind of categorize those into a different subset of problems. If the nav system is providing bad input, it makes this task a lot harder. Um, that's still something to work on. So anyway, um, that's version 9 first look, and I will obviously be testing this a bunch over the next day here. So 
thanks for tuning in and we'll see if there's more later. That was a little bit different. Okay, more videos to come.